If you are taking to the streets to mark the news of Osama bin Laden's death. The 9-11 memorial here in Phoenix serving as a de facto gathering place. That is where we find ABC 15's Brian McElhatton. And Brian, what is the mood out there this morning? Well, good morning. As the sun comes up above the 9-11 memorial in downtown Phoenix, uh, it's all quiet. There, there aren't anyone here. Everyone left uh, last night. But this is a place that has a piece of the Pentagon, a bit of soil from Shanksville, Pennsylvania, where Flight 93 crashed, and a piece of the World Trade Center. This was a gathering point last night for about a dozen or so people. And I'll show you a video of that right now. They showed up. They waved flags. They talked amongst themselves about what they were doing when they heard the news, uh, how they got down here as quickly as they could. But the overall Overarching theme was one of togetherness, one of unity. Take a listen. We were just watching it on TV and kind of couldn't hold it in anymore. So we wanted to come out here. We saw these guys out here by themselves, and more people were here by the time we got here. So we just felt more appropriate uh, surroundings for celebration. Because I think it unites everybody to show their support and, and come out and, and show what they believe in. You know, and and show that we are here for one another, even through the hard times. <laughs> and back here live, you can see a picture of a piece of the World Trade Center there, laying out here on the memorial. There was some controversy here, of course. Uh, this was built in 2006. There are some inscriptions here that some lawmakers in the state consider maybe unpatriotic, some anti-military. Uh, there was a movement to get those uh, taken off the memorial. Governor Jan Brewer recently vetoed that, but no sign of that controversy last night. It was all about unity. Live in Phoenix, Brian McElhadden, ABC 15.